Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about Kingdom Come Deliverance and like my first impressions on it. And by the way, my first impressions for this game, this game is a slow game. So I think I put in, I want to say like 20 hours. That's a good first impressions for this, this game. Okay, it's 20 hours. So, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, the sponsor of this video today is those of you at Steam It, helping support the channel with upvotes, earning me that extra cash that I kind of need to pay for stuff, and make better videos. So, Kingdom Come Deliverance, if you don't know what it is, it is kind of like, the best way to describe it is Dungeons and Dragons with a linear story and no fantasy elements whatsoever. You are a medieval knight in medieval Holy Roman Empire, I believe that's where it actually takes place. I mean, it is very, very medieval. It does not romanticize everything, anything at all. Like, you got the dirt paths and stuff they're like these people you'll end up talking to someone they're like look at my proud city and it's like dirt crappy roads the cobblestones all messed up there's like a dude in the middle of the town square in one of those things where his head's like that his hands are like this and there's like shop sellers on the side with dirty dresses because they can't clean them all of the things are in this game that kind of do that and it's really really fun actually i was surprised you know it took a long time to get into i think I spent, in the initial tutorial area before I could start exploring, I think I spent about one to two hours, like, in the area. I mean, I was talking to people, I was trying to do stuff, you know, I was figuring stuff out, of course, but, I mean, that's how much time I spent in that area. And then I, like, actually got into sword fighting after that. So there's not a lot of combat in this game. That's a that's a very important thing. Is there is not a lot of combat in this game. However, the combat is very methodical in this game and you have to really learn how it works. There's a couple areas where the game doesn't tell you how stuff works and I wish it did, but I mean, it's still the combat is methodical like I said. And that's actually a big problem with this game, is it doesn't tell you a lot of things. Like, I just recently did this quest where this guy was like, All right, Henry, that's your character's name. He goes, we need to, I need you to get this wine from the cellar. And I'm like, okay. And I could have asked him about it, and I was like, I don't feel like asking him about it. I want to just get this quest done so I could get done and go make myself some dinner. Like, in real life, dinner. And I ended up not being able to complete the quest because, well, I needed to talk to him and get the key from him. And once I stopped talking to him, I couldn't talk with him again, and I had to lockpick a door, and I didn't have enough skill to actually attempt to lockpick the door. So I didn't complete the quest. And I was, oh my god. I was not happy. However, the positives do outweigh the negatives. There's only, like, there's only really the two big things is the game doesn't tell you what to do, which... Take that as you will. Some people could see that as a good thing, so I don't really see that as a um, as a detractor of the game's quality. But the other thing is that this game is very, very buggy. All right, there's a lot of like the animations in this game are pretty bad. They're kind of crappy. Um, the actual like there's a couple points where you can't jump up stairs. You can't do combat on stairs. And, you know, your horse will get stuck in some areas. You'll have enemies get stuck in one areas. I quest broke the game. Um, it's really easy to quest break the main quest. And I got rewarded for it. I had to... I ended up killing some guy before talking to him. And that uh, the, the objective to talk to him was still there the entire time I didn't talk to him. And I had to fight him. But since I had to talk to him, he wouldn't draw his sword. But he was moving around... Like, he was going to fight me, and I could just, like, shoot four arrows into him and kill him. So, there's a lot of rewarding for quest breaking in this game that is not exactly a good thing. But if you're looking for a slower-paced single-player game, oh my god, this game is, a be is beautiful. It just, it's so well-made, and it has a charm to it at the same time. I mean, it's it's got the realistic, like, graphics, which, by the way, the graphics, if you're a graphics kind of person, they look absolutely amazing. Beautiful graphics. All right, I showed my mom this, and she was like, whoa. You know, that's how, that's how amazing the graphics were in this game. But actual gameplay, like, I really like the gameplay. I... You know, there's a system where you have to eat food or else you, you know, you, you starve and you have to sleep. And it, it, it's not really, 
it doesn't get in the way. And the reason why is it makes inns, like inns or ale houses, whatever you want to call them, it makes inns actually a valuable piece of just the game. You know, it, you, you play other medieval games like Skyrim or Oblivion, and inns don't really do anything. They're just there to get quests. And you can get quests at the inns in this game too. But now they have a purpose, right? You sleep in a bed. You know, you buy beer because there's a couple things you could do with beer that are actually very valuable. You know, maybe you buy cheap wine. Whatever. It The inns are actually a like, place that you want to visit. Same with food stores and like armors. That you don't get a lot of gold in this game. All right, it's, like I said, very methodical. So armors are valuable. Traders are valuable. Just every single piece of this game, like shop-wise, is valuable. Same with exploration. It's worth it to explore on the roads because you might run into bandits. You know, you might get some extra loot. But it's also worth it to explore in the woods because you might find some other, like maybe a bandit camp. I found a couple bandit camps before. Or maybe, you know, you find a place where there's like an interesting site. Or you might have to walk through the woods to complete a quest. So it's, there's nothing really that isn't used in this game. I feel like some of the cities maybe aren't used. They're just kind of used like, oh, we need a, we need X amount of cities for the main quest. So city, 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 city. But they still try to spice it up a little bit. But my first impressions of this game, I mean, 20 hours, like I said, when I buy a $60 game, if it does not have a good story, if it's not story-based, which this game pretty much is, it's got the best storytelling in any video game I've ever seen, all right? So, it already, the 20 hours I've gotten off of first impressions of this game, well worth it. The story is amazing. I I want to keep coming back. I feel, you know, you feel the impact of your actions in this game. Very, it's very well done. It really makes you, you know, feel what you're doing. And you can mess up real easily. Like, if you have to, there's no invulnerable NPCs that I have found yet. I mean, there, there's probably invulnerable NPCs like, I don't know, like their health bar doesn't go down, but I mean, I can, you can quest break, like I said, really easily. Kill someone before you have to talk to them. It's a great example of a quest break. So, that's it. Very amazing game. First impressions, the first 20 hours, I think, are the hardest to get through. After you get through those, the game gets a lot better. Just because you actually know what you're doing, and it's a lot more fun. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. I might do a video on this again. I don't know. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as at video games as you do. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.